as a huge Godzilla fan and somebody who owns every single Godzilla movie that has been released and have seen every single Godzilla movie, I can't tell you how excited I am this Wednesday when Godzilla vs. Kong hits theaters. Cannot wait to see it, and I am so hyped. So I figured I might as well show off my entire Godzilla collection and give a little brief review on every movie. So let's start it off with, of course... The original, Gojira, Godzilla, the original Japanese masterpiece, came out in 1954. This is what started it all. And as a Godzilla fan, and if you're a new Godzilla fan and you're just getting into Godzilla and learning about him for the first time, this is the movie. I mean, you have to see the original. This is what started it all, and nothing more can be said, but this is what made Godzilla, Godzilla, so... Here it is. I got this at a FYE years ago, and I'm still lucky enough to have an FYE in my area. For those of you who don't know what an FYE is, I'm so sorry, but it's a big DVD record uh, collectible store, so really, really cool to have this. And here's the uh, inside of it. Of course, it's a two-disc set, special edition. Uh, this is the Japanese version, which is how the film originally was recorded, and then the dubbed version called Godzilla King of the Monsters, not to be confused with the new movie that came out in 2019. Um, it says starring Raymond Burr because he was a big American actor at the time. So, and he was in the Godzilla movies. So, you know, that's how they put it up there to get the big name out there for people to recognize it and say, oh, Raymond Burr's in this. Let's go check it out. So, that's that. And then this came up with a little uh, booklet here that has like info about the movie and some pictures. So, yeah, there he is, the original Godzilla. So, that's that, the original 1954 Japanese masterpiece, Gojira. Unbelievable. The second Godzilla movie to come out was Godzilla Raids Again, and this is the first movie where Godzilla actually fights a monster. As you can see, that's the original Japanese poster on it. And he fights Anguirus in this movie, and from what I remember in this movie, I've seen this movie, I think, once or twice. Um, been a while since I've watched it. Uh, but um, the second you see Godzilla and Anguirus, they just start fighting. It's just a nonstop fight between them the entire movie. Uh, pretty unique, and you knew once seeing this movie that he was fighting Anguirus, you knew new, more monsters were going to be coming down the road, and he'd be fighting more monsters. So that was the second movie to come out, Godzilla Raids Again. Then we get to what is coming out this Wednesday. Not the remastered version, a completely different version and film of Godzilla and King Kong. This one being King Kong vs. Godzilla. And obviously, like I said, the new one's called Godzilla vs. Kong. So, really, really awesome. This was the first time Godzilla and King Kong fought. Uh, first Godzilla movie to be uh, recorded in color. And, uh, I mean, you can say what you want about this movie. You can call it a comedy. You can call it one of the best clashes of the most, most biggest monsters in the world. <laughs> and uh, definitely a unique movie. So, um yeah, you watch this movie, and then when the new one comes out, you tell me how different it is, because this, wow, what a movie. And uh, one of very few movies to feature the monster versus Godzilla before every movie uh, became Godzilla versus something or a different titled movie. However, Kong, King Kong versus Godzilla was not the first one to feature something versus Godzilla. Mothra versus Godzilla would be the fourth Godzilla film to come out. This is the first time where Mothra gets introduced. Um, also dubbed as Godzilla vs. The Thing, but um, more publicly known as Mothra vs. Godzilla. And as far as I know, I think Mothra, the movie Mothra, came out first before Mothra vs. Godzilla. So this was a completely separate uh, time. And, you know, since it was both a Japanese monster movie, um, they finally made it. And they put Mothra to be a Godzilla, and Mothra became one of the biggest Godzilla monsters to be known in... Uh, the entire monster universe, or monster verse is what they're calling it now. So, yeah, Mothra versus Godzilla. And then, here we go. Now we get to one of the greatest Godzilla monsters out there. Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. It's not titled or has Godzilla's name in it at all. Uh, but Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. King Ghidorah's first ever film appearance. And Godzilla's fighting him and trying to get him back to where he came from in outer space. Um, one of the... I think Mothra is in this movie. Larva Mothra, at least. Oh, man, I couldn't tell you. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. I've seen it probably once, to be honest. But uh, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. First movie to feature Ghidorah and making King Ghidorah what he would be. 
later known as Invasion of the Astro Monster, the sequel to Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, where Ghidorah would return and attack Godzilla yet again with Rodan in this, where they actually fight on the moon, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's how that goes. So Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster and then Invasion of the Astro Monster, where he comes back. Now we're getting into one of my classes. This is one of my dad's favorite Godzilla movies when he was younger. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, The Giant Lobster. Oh yeah, you bet. Mothra's also in this movie, which is unique. And as you can see, uh, this movie, again, this was in the 70s now. Uh, not, you know, actual, like, oh, Godzilla's killing everybody. This is where Godzilla's the superhero at the time. And you got the giant lobster out there. Giant crustacean taking out everybody. Godzilla's here to save the day. So Godzilla versus the sea monster was next. And then, oh boy, son of Godzilla, or little Manila, or Minya, however you want to call him, uh, is found in an egg, and it's strange. This is a strange Godzilla movie. I remember when I was little, I cried. I actually cried when I was like maybe five or six years old seeing this movie. Because it was sad, because he's in the egg, and you got these giant... Um, Praying Mantis is hitting him, and the poor thing's squeaking. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Where's Godzilla? And Godzilla could care less about him. He's watching his own kid get beat by Mantises. So here he is, all excited. Uh, I think he drinks some, like, red lava or red medicine or something, and he becomes super strong, and he starts spitting smoke rings at people. Like, hey, I vape too, man. You're cool. Kamunga, the spider, is also in this, and doesn't really do much in the movie, but interesting how they have all these monsters, but it's mainly focused on little Godzilla over here, Manila. As you can see, it is Manila, pretty much. That That's how me and my brother have always called him. Son of Godzilla. What a unique 70s movie. Destroy all monsters. This is where almost all of the monsters at the time were all together in one film, and they took out King Ghidorah, who decided to raise hell and cause a bunch of destruction. All the monsters go on destroying cities until eventually Ghidorah arrives, and then they all team up on Monster Island and eventually attack and destroy and send King Ghidorah back to space wherever he came from. So another, you know, we're in the 70s, so I guess those kind of movies were just weird at the time. Oh, boy, you want to talk about weird. <laughs> Godzilla's Revenge, where uh, this little boy over here is bullied by everybody, and I mean, all monsters attack Godzilla's Revenge. Manila starts talking. To the boy, the boy starts talking to Manila. They understand what he's saying. He's saying Godzilla's going to whip his candy ass if he doesn't come back to him and help. He fights that monster in the middle, Gabara. Um, very, 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 very strange Godzilla movie. I mean, this is the movie you show to like, little kids to say, Hey, you want to see a Godzilla movie? Oh, you're too scared of that one? Uh, let's watch uh, All Monsters Attack with Godzilla's Revenge. Because, yeah, that's definitely a kid's movie for you. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Hedora, the smog monster, one of my brother's favorite monsters and obviously one of the most coolest Godzilla monsters out there. Hedora, who was formed by smog and sludge and feeds off of the stuff that we pollute the air with. And um, weird, just another weird uh, Godzilla movie where this guy's like, one of the characters is like, high off of LSD and start seeing a bunch of fish and if you've seen this movie you know and Hedorah's the smog monster the ending is strange I don't want to spoil it but at the end we're well, like I said I don't want to spoil it but just the ending is weird and I, I still don't understand it to this day and I've seen the movie maybe 20 times Godzilla versus Megalon with the star of the movie where is he Jet Jaguar local superhero who helps Godzilla take out Megalon, and Gigan makes an appearance in this movie. That is actually wrong. I, where's Godzilla vs. Gigan? Godzilla vs. Gigan came before. I don't know why that's not in order. Godzilla vs. Gigan came before Godzilla vs. Megalon, so Gigan makes his appearance along with King Ghidorah again, and Anguirus is back in here, and it's a tag team match between Godzilla and Anguirus taking on Gigan and King Ghidorah, and Gigan doesn't really do much in this movie. I mean... If it was just Gigan and Godzilla, it'd be a little bit more, but you got Anguirus and King Ghidorah in this as well, so it's basically a tag team match. And then, 
Megalon because Gigan returns for the second time in a row to team up with Megalon, who's been sleeping underground, and Jet Jaguar teams up with Godzilla. Another, it's a bunch of tag team matches when Gigan's involved. Can't fight his own fights, I guess. So, yeah, Megalon shows up, and I wish Megalon was featured in more Godzilla monster movies because I love Megalon. He's one of the coolest designed monsters out there with drills for hands. He's a giant beetle. A unique monster for sure, so... Godzilla vs. Megalon, it's an alright movie. I mean, this is where the series starts to pick up. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, the first Mechagodzilla. And for the longest time when I was little, I thought that red dot was Mechagodzilla's eye. It's actually part of his ear. So, um, as you can see there, now you can see his eyes. But for the longest time, I thought that red dot was his eye, and I thought that oh, it was so strange. But anyways... The first Mechagodzilla movie to be shown. Mechagodzilla is created by aliens. King Caesar's in this movie. Again, there's a bunch of monsters in this. And Gears even. <clears throat> and uh, the sad part is, uh, again, I don't want to spoil the entire movie. But uh, when we first see Mechagodzilla, he's wear wearing uh, Godzilla-like skin. So you think it's this Godzilla destroying the city. And he goes up to Anguirus and starts ripping his jaw open. I'm like, what the hell? And then uh, ultimately this Godzilla shows up and he's seeing a double of himself. Starts shooting fire at him. And then the skin starts to peel off and you start seeing metal. And then all of a sudden Mechagodzilla reveals himself. And then, ba-boom, Godzilla and Mechagodzilla and King Caesar return to... Uh, Avenge Anguirus after having his jaw broken, and then you got the two-on-one fight between the alien-made Mechagodzilla. Oh, but Mechagodzilla wasn't gone yet. Terror of Mechagodzilla would be the next Godzilla movie, and he's back, and Mechagodzilla's got more weapons, and he's here to try and take down Godzilla for good. A new monster is also revealed in this movie, Titanosaurus, with the aliens take over him and use uh, Mechagodzilla, have a two-on-one attack on him. This time, Godzilla's all by himself. He's got Titanosaurus and Mechagodzilla going after him. So, yeah, I can only imagine how that ended for the aliens, and when you go up against the king of the monsters, oh, oh you can only wonder. So, after that, then we finally ended the 1950s to the 1970s, bunch of movies you gotta admit i mean even though if they're not all completely titled godzilla but um the 80s is really where things started to change godzilla 1984 the return of godzilla so i think let me just see if there's an actual date on this i not 100 percent sure 1975 right there as you can see hopefully you can see it right there 1975 right above where it says running time 1975, almost 10 years later, we finally get a new Godzilla movie in 1984. He comes back. He doesn't fight any monsters in this movie. He just destroys the city just to show Godzilla's back. And he's got a new look. And it's not the 1970s Godzilla anymore. This Godzilla looks way different. And he seems to be out attacking the city. And just a nice little reboot for uh, what would soon become the 1990s Godzilla. Since he didn't have anybody to fight in 1984, Godzilla vs. Biollante would come out being a final new monster that he would fight, and this was the beginning oh, okay, of the brand new monsters that would start to show up finally. this I didn't even know Biollante was real. Again, all these years when I was little, I had no idea all these Godzilla movies came out, and I had no idea what Biollante was until Godzilla Unleashed the video game came out. And I own two versions of that, the PS2 and the Wii version. Biollante was on the Wii version, and I was like, whoa, that's cool. That's a custom monster. Oh, no, Godzilla vs. Biollante, that's a real movie. And I own the VHS version of this movie, too. <laughs> I'm actually going to show you it right now. I completely forgot I had it. So for the longest time, I wanted to see this Godzilla vs. Biollante movie, and the only way to get it was on VHS. You couldn't get it on DVD because it wasn't made at the time on DVD. So I got this on eBay. Believe it or not, it was the only place in the world to get it. And I actually had to... Well, I don't know if I can get the VHS tape out. As you can see, look how dusty it is. It's been forever. I saw it once on VHS, and I just had to say, I had to see this movie once since I knew I wasn't ever going to get it on DVD. And then all one time, uh, of course, I go to FYE. What? There's a Godzilla vs. Biollante DVD? Bruh. Of course I was getting it. So Godzilla vs. Biollante, unreal movie. I mean... 
it's basically impossible to find this on DVD now. You you got to have to you're going to have to spend at least 25 30 dollars if you want to get that movie now. But wow, what a movie. Just nothing else I could say about it. Double feature. King Ghidorah came first and this was uh the first time King Ghidorah would come back since Destroy All Monsters. And we all thought that was the end of King Ghidorah once Destroy All Monsters came out. So or no, not Nestor All Monsters. Godzilla vs. Gigan was the last time that uh, King Ghidorah was seen. King Ghidorah is back, and uh, let's just say King Ghidorah would go through some big changes near the end of this movie. Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth. Another unbelievable Godzilla movie, because Mothra was reborn again. Not to be confused with the rebirth of Mothra movies. And a different moth-like monster would be shown in this movie. Batra would also come out. And they would team up together to try and take out Godzilla. And again, I'm not going to spoil everything, but let's just say some things happen. <laughs> Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla 2. That's right, Mechagodzilla is back. This is his second version, technically third, since Terra Mechagodzilla. But some can say this is the best Mechagodzilla version that ever come out out of all of the versions that we've seen. Unless, of course, there was a, uh, you know surprise appearance in the upcoming movie i don't know just saying i, I, I don't know we'll see wednesday <laughs> but uh rodan's back in this movie baby godzilla's in this movie a different version of baby godzilla not manila he doesn't talk to people thank god but he gets mad when uh or he gets scared and his eyes turn red when he's upset so that's interesting i got godzilla too one of the better mecha godzilla movies Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, and for unknown reasons, Space Godzilla has been pictured as the ultimate monster in all Godzilla video games. So, yeah, there's that, and he's made the same way Godzilla vs. Biollante. Biollante was created between plant and Godzilla cells, and then you got to see the movies in order. I mean, once he fights Godzilla and Mothra, like I said here, because Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 came after Mothra, and then... You'll see the, the Mothra part of this movie in the beginning where Mothra's in space and Mothra's got some Godzilla cells connected to her. And then, uh, oh, yeah, that's not good. I wonder what could create from those. Space Godzilla. Godzilla versus Destroya. The final 1990s Godzilla movie. Oh, boy. I feel like I could talk forever about Godzilla versus Destroya because this is the best Godzilla movie ever made. Godzilla vs. Destroya, rated out of 100, it's 100. I mean, I'm not even making it up. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes, the movie reviewers, out of 100%, you can have a good movie. Godzilla vs. Destroya is a 10 out of 10, 100% movie. Best Godzilla movie ever made. Can't really. <laughs> and I want to spoil the movies, but you gotta see it. Unbelievable. I mean... It truly is the best Godzilla movie. All right, this one shouldn't even count because it's crap. Well, they tried to bring back Godzilla in 1998. This is it, the American version of Godzilla. Uh, it is not big, it's not loud, and it's not fun. It's a disappointment. So I don't even want to talk about it, and I don't even know why I have it, but it's considered a Godzilla movie, so whatever. This one, on the other hand, makes up for that movie ten times. After how they've made that. Godzilla's back. The original millennium version of Godzilla. He fights an alien. You can see his eyes behind the screen right there. Woohoo, boy. What a movie. What about Giant Monsters All Out Attack? Oh, man. The, the millennium era where all these monsters come back. King Ghidorah's back again. Mothra. Baragon's even back in here. Baragon was only featured for like a second in Destroy All Monsters. And now he's shown more in this movie. And oh, boy. Is he shown more? There he is there fighting Godzilla's hand. Godzilla's got white eyes like he came back from hell. Unbelievable. Now we're getting into the good movies. Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. This movie was un... I mean, I thought there was a bunch of Megaguiruses in this movie because I thought this was a different version of him, but it is the same monster. I mean, you might get confused if you see this movie too, seeing all the other monsters that are featured there. Those are just the stupid dragonflies that you see in the movie, but I thought it would be a different version of Megaguirus, but no, it's not. So, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a movie. Another Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla 3, a.k.a. Kiryu, and this time he's controlled by the people, not aliens, so he's supposed to take out Godzilla, but I don't think that works too well. Godzilla, Tokyo, SOS, 
Mothra is back. Mechagodzilla is still around. This is the ultimate ending of all the... the, the, the I can't even speak. This poor thing, Kamambas, Kamobas, he's dead already. His first appearance, he's dead. Why even put him on the movie box? Oh, it's terrible. But Tokyo SOS was really like, okay, this is it, the grand finale of the Millennium series. And then, which we all thought was the end, Godzilla Final Wars came out. He goes off against all the other monsters throughout the years, and in the end, Gigan's even back. And oh my god, Chainsaw Gigan in this movie is insane. Ultimately, at the end, it really was Godzilla's Final War. Until a couple years later, 10 years later to be a matter of fact, in 2004 that came out. In 2014, Godzilla is back, and this is the Godzilla that we know today. And what can be said? Godzilla's back. I'm sure everybody who's seen this movie by now. But uh, yeah, here's a movie that I know a lot of you probably haven't seen. Shin Godzilla. This came out in 2016. Completely different version of Godzilla where... Oh, it's just so weird. I mean, you want to talk about weird and scary? This is weird and scary. I mean, really. I mean, the first Godzilla movie I'm actually saying is scary and disturbing. This movie is scary and disturbing. Shin Godzilla. um, Just uh, disturbing, I guess, could be the only word to say. And then, of course, the newest one, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, where King Ghidorah returns along with Mothra and Rodan. This being the most recent Godzilla film up until this Wednesday when Godzilla vs. Kong comes out. We all know how this movie is. Uh, not as good as the 2014 Godzilla movie. I mean, I just rewatched it a couple days ago. And I only saw it once back then, this being my second time I saw the movie. Yeah, it is not as great as I remember. It's still a good Godzilla movie, but it's not as good as the 14 Godzilla, and I have high expectations for Godzilla vs. Kong, so I have a strong feeling that that movie is going to blow this movie out of the water, being the best rebooted Godzilla movie to come out so far. So, yes, there it is. My Tower of Godzilla DVDs. I've seen every movie, and can tell you everything about every movie if I had one chance. This is a 22-minute video, and if I reviewed each movie individually, I just went as quick as I could to uh, save as much time as I could. This would be at least a two-hour video if I went through every movie individually. So thank you guys for watching. Godzilla vs. King Kong coming out Wednesday. I can't wait. I know uh, some of you Godzilla fans out there are just excited as I am, so uh, <laughs> let's go.